A patient is suffering from the severe gastritis, has undergone upper GI endoscopy. What is the best disinfectant used to sterilize the endoscope? Okay. So, all these costly instruments like endoscopes, bronchoscopes, fine, which are about 10 lakh rupees, you should use a what? 2% glutaldehyde. What you should? 2% glutaldehyde, which comes in the market by the name of which particular thing? That is the Cytex or Cytex. So, answer is first, the 2% glutaldehyde that is uh, named as Cytex that is being used up for all the scopes except your stethoscope. And stethoscope is sterilized by what? The scope is sterilized by what? It is by, yes, can you tell? Isopropyl alcohol, okay? So that can be sterilized by what? Isopropyl alcohol. You should clean your stethoscope with the spirit. And uh, besides all this, these all costly instruments like endoscopes, bronchoscopes, cystoscopes, okay, colonoscope, which are there in lakhs, they all are sterilized by this particular high level disinfectant, which is termed as 2% glutaldehyde, which comes in the market by the name of Cidex or Cidex. Is it fine? So this should be remembered. First of all, this definitely can be asked regarding the formaldehyde. Regarding the formaldehyde, this particular formaldehyde exists in two forms. One is liquid form and one is gas form. Okay, liquid and gas. So this particular liquid and gas, that is the, in the first year, when you go up in the anatomy department and uh, do that, dissection in the dissection hall, something irritates your eyes. That is what is termed as formalin. Okay. So this particular liquid form is what? Formalin. And the gas is what? Formaldehyde. And this particular gas, which is termed as formaldehyde, is used for what, guys? It is used for fumigation. It is used for what? Fumigation. And this particular formalin is used for preserve what? Anatomy and pathospecimens. Okay. That is being used to preserve what? The anatomical and pathospecimens. Because in the second year also, you must be having that uh, peculiar smell in your uh, path labs. That is for this formalin. So that is regarding the formaldehyde, liquid and gas. Fine. Two forms and uh, obviously the aldehydes are high level disinfectants. So you should know and they are sporocytal also. First of all, you should uh, remember in this particular chapter, two or three things that we'll discuss up that uh, there are two types of sterilization. And what are the two types of sterilization? The two types of sterilization is dry heat sterilization and moist heat sterilization. So one is dry heat sterilization and one is moist heat sterilization. So can you tell me which one is better, dry heat or moist heat? Which one is better as per you, dry heat or moist heat? So obviously the moist heat is better than the dry heat. Okay, moist heat sterilization is better than the dry heat sterilization. Why? Why is it so? Because in the moist heat, you have the extra power of the steam. You have the extra power of the steam for the moist heat sterilization, which is obviously gives up a better effective sterilization as compared to the dry heat one. Is it fine? And uh, in this dry heat sterilization, the most important thing which you observe is the instrument, which is termed as hot air oven. The name of the instrument is what guys? Hot air oven and what should be the temperature of it? 160 degrees centigrade for how much time? For two hours. Okay, 160 degrees centigrade for how much time? Two hours is the temperature and the time in the hot air oven and all your glasswares, certain surgical instruments. Okay, all those things which makes you dirty, grease, paraffin, okay, dusting powder, they all are sterilized by what? Hot air oven. The important here is, as per you, the control. Okay. Which control? Biological control. If somebody asks you that what is the biological control, because this is what is coming in the exam. This will come in your exam that what is the biological control you use for hot air oven. And the guys, the answer is the biological control which is being used in this particular hot air oven is what guys? It is the spores. Spores of which particular bacteria? Bacillus atrophius. Okay. Which particular bacteria? the bacillus atrophius spores, they are being used as a biological control. This was asked in one of the exams recently. Definitely it will be asked in your NEET PG also, for sure. Purba, now it has changed from bacillus subtilis to what? Bacillus atrophius. Okay, so remember this, that which particular spores are used? Rather, it is better answer than the bacillus subtilis. 
it is the better answer than the bacillus subtilis, which you have told up in the comment section. So remember this particular aspect that which particular spores are used for the biological control, the spores of bacillus atrophius. Okay. More than the bacillus subtilis. This is regarding the hot air oven, which I'm telling out. Okay. And this is high likely, which can come in your exam for sure. Besides this, if I talk about the moisture sterilization in that less than 100, at 100, more than 100 and less than 100. Yeah, that can also be used non-pathogenic spores, but the best answer is bacillus atrophius purva. Okay. So as per the moisture sterilization, less than 100, you have pasteurization. Okay. And inspiration. And at 100, you have tendalization and above 100, it is autoclaving. So the most important here is autoclaving. And uh, what is the standard temperature and pressure for the autoclaving? It is 121 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes. Okay. At a pressure of 15 PSI. At a pressure of what? 15 PSI. Fine. Pratisha, very good. You are perfectly right in this. 121 degrees centigrade for 15 minutes at 15 PSI. At pound square inch, how much? 15 PSI. This is what is the standards of the autoclave. And autoclave behaves like a big pressure cooker only. And what you autoclave, guys? Autoclave is all your lab's sputum samples before discard. They should be autoclaved to make them disinfectant. Okay. So sputum samples before the discard, they should be autoclaved. This is important. Along with that, certain surgical instruments, they are being autoclaved. Certain pipettes are there, which are like uh, autoclaved and it's properly written on their pipettes like this can be autoclaved or not. Besides this, all the surgical sutures, except the cat gut they are being sterilized by this autoclaving except the cat gut okay and obviously all our culture media is being autoclaved except which particular one guys except which particular one except the lj and lss except the lj and lss and what is that LG analysis? Lowenstein Jensen Media and Loeffler Serum Slope. And Lowenstein Jensen, you use for what? You use for Mycobacterium TB. And LSS, you use for what? That is for the Conibacterium diphtheria, for the early diagnosis of Conibacterium diphtheria. Is it fine, guys? So all the culture medias except LG analysis, this is their autoclaved. Now, another important question that what is the biological control? What is the biological control? of this autoclave. What is the biological control of autoclave? So biological control of autoclave is spores of spores of bacillus or you can write geobacillus sterothermophilus. Okay, geobacillus sterothermophilus. These particular ones, they are being used as a biological control. You are very right, Patricia. You are fine. Perfectly right in this. Okay. So this should be remembered guys that which biological control is used for the autoclave answer is the spores of bacillus sterothermophilus. Very right. Very right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now I should tell you some more biological controls because the question is coming on them. You should know. Okay. Certain more biological control. Okay. Now you must be remembering of this thing also that uh, like, what is this biological control? The biological controls are actually, they are the spores, ready-made spores, which are available in the market. And what we do actually in this, uh, previously what we used to do, like uh, we put it into the autoclave, we raise the temperature to 121, 15 minutes, 15 PSI. After that 15 minutes, you like uh, bring out these particular uh, vials and uh, you break them and you try to grow them into the culture media. If they grow, your autoclave is not working fine because they should have been killed at this particular temperature at this pressure. So that is what is the testing, the quality control of your autoclave. That is what is termed as biological control. And nowadays there is a color change. If the color change happens, then that particular indicator is indicating that your autoclave is not working fine. That color should not change. Okay. If after that particular time, when you bring out the glass file and you see the color change in the glass file, that Color change should not have happened. If this happened, your autoclave is not working fine. So this is what is the logic of 
this particular stuff. Fine. Now the biological control for certain other things. Like uh, it was asked in the recently NB exam only in the FMG that what is the biological control of ETO and what is ETO? Ethylene oxide or ethylene oxide. This particular ETO that is ethylene oxide, the biological control is bacillus globigii. Okay, that is bacillus globigii subspecies atrophius. Okay, subspecies atrophius and in the FNG exam, that question was from this particular stuff. That is the bacillus atrophia. Just now I told now that bacillus atrophius is used for what? Hot air oven. Remember guys, bacillus atrophius is also used for ETO. Okay. It is ETO also. Right. Ethylene oxide also. That is the bacillus globigii subspecies atrophius. And uh, definitely I think this question might be asked. And ethylene oxide is the best high level disinfectant which are using up in our... Uh, hospitals and it is used for what it is used for those uh, like ICU machines of yours like respirators heart lung machines important is they are best now they are best now for cat gut sutures okay cat gut sutures and pre-packed syringes also for cat gut sutures and pre-packed syringes also if somebody asks you which is the best the answer is ethylene oxide or ethylene oxide rather than the gamma radiation. Rather than the gamma radiation. Remember this particular one that this is what is the best. Best now for the cat grid switches and prefect syringes also. Along with the dental equipments and all these hardware machines which I have already told them. Right? So guys, this is what is the biological control which I like to tell up. Important ones. Another question which I have asked in the NEET uh, PG last time was that if you could not able to heat anything, then what to do? Then the answer is filtration. Then how to sterilize that? That is the answer is filtration. Is it fine? So that is also one of the important points to remember. If you can't heat, any heat level thing is there. Heat level thing like, like, uh, like uh, you have serum, you have vaccines, you can't heat them. What to do with them? You have to filter. That is filtration. Okay. And in this particular one only, I like to tell you one or two things regarding those particular names of the, uh, those particular uh, names of the test, test for the efficacy of disinfectant, the test for the efficacy of disinfectant, this particular test name, at least you should know that just the test names. And what is those? The first one is Riddle Walker coefficient test, Riddle Walker coefficient test and as the name suggests it is also termed as phenol coefficient test there is a comparison of yours this particular uh, disinfectant with the phenol that how much time the phenol takes in killing up a particular set of uh, bacteria and how much the phenol is taking that particular time so comparison between the activity of them then the second one is chick martin the second test is chick martin and Chick Martin test suggests what? That in the presence of organic waste, how does our disinfectant works? So that is termed as Chick Martin. Then the third one is Kelsey Sykes. Okay. The third one is Kelsey Sykes test. And Kelsey Sykes test is about the serial dilution. Okay. Means if you have a small amount of disinfectant and in that you can add buckets of water. So how much you can dilute that, how much it is beneficial for your hospital, okay, economically viable, that is being tested by what? Kelsey Sykes test. And when you actually use it in your hospitals, that is what is termed as in-use test. That is what is termed as what, guys? In-use test. So at least these names, if at all they come in your exam, you should know that which all are there. So these are the tests for the efficacy of the disinfectants. Riedel Walker coefficient test. Chick Martin test, Kelsey Sykes test, and in use test. Fine.